वेलकम बैक टू सॉलिड वर्क सिमुलेशन कनेक्टर सीरीज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन बटन इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द पिन कनेक्टर्स वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज दिस सिंपल स्कैन असेंबली मेड विद फोर लिंक्स वी विल यूज द कनेक्शन ऑफ द पिन विद दिस फोर लिंक्स वी बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू डू द टू टाइप्स ऑफ एनालिसिस वन इज जस्ट यूजिंग द पिन कनेक्टर्स without making some other part of pin and we are and another simulation with the solid pin so i will show you how you can make the connection using the pins uh, between the links so after watching this video you can uh, you can analyze any of your truss assembly or hydraulic scissor lift using pin connections so let's start so for, first of all let me tell you that what is the pin connector so there are different types of connectors in solvex simulation for the assembly analysis i have covered the spring connector and the bolt connector in the previous videos i will provide the link in the description you can watch the spring connector and bolt connectors videos from there so what is the pin connector a pin connects cylindrical faces of two components two options are available in the solvex simulation so there are two options like no translation and no rotation no translation will be with the retaining ring and no rotation with the key so i will show you with detail in this video so first of all we are going to do the analysis using this solid pin so simply go to the simulation tab go to new study and select the static from here like this so first of all let's see that your material is applied or not so we have to apply the material to our pins just select all these pins go to apply or edit material and select the same material select close from here so now our material is applied now we are going to use the connection or contact set with these pins so simply go to connection go to contact set so in contact set there is the option known as virtual wall just simply select this option select the face of the pin and select the reference plane of this pin so this pin is of part 1 of 8 so go to the part one of it from here and select the front plane so now you can see our virtual wall contact set has been applied just simply go to okay repeat this process with the other rings simply again go to the contact set like this and go to uh, virtual wall select this face and again go to the reference plane and select front plane from here like this and select okay so once your virtual wall condition is ready so we have the eight walls here virtual walls so now we are going to uh, apply the fixtures like we are going to apply the fixed geometry with this face select okay from here and now we will apply the force on this face and give it the value of 500 newton or i am going to give the value of 1000 newton from here select okay so now simply go to the mesh option go to create mesh and select curvature base mesh from mesh parameters make it a little bit refine and select okay if you want to see the details of your mesh just simply go to the mesh option select details from here and from here you can simply analyze your aspect ratios and total nodes and mesh quality from here 
So once our geometry is ready, we will simply go to the run this ready. and wait while our solver has been completed. So once your uh, static analysis have been completed, you can simply analyze the von Moises stresses and displacement from here. If you want to change the units or number, just simply go to edit definition, go to the chart options and select floating from here and if you want to show the maximum and minimum notation just check this options and select ok. So now it is showing that this face is moving 0.002 millimeter downward and you can also analyze the one my stress. So basically we use this solid pin for the assembly analysis or we will use we make the solid pin as a connection so we can analyze the material failure also by using this solid pin so if you want to analyze the factor of safety just simply go to the define factor of safety plot and you can analyze the individual bodies like from like from selected bodies, you can select the bodies, you want to analyze the factor of safety, but we are going to analyze the factor of safety of our whole model. Simply select maximum one mic stress from here, go to the next and from here, if you want to change the units, you can change it from here, again go to the next. So if you want to see the areas below factor of safety, check this button and if you want to see the factor of safety distribution on your whole model just select this and select ok. So now you can see that so now you can see that our minimum factor of safety is 52. So our force is so less therefore our minimum factor of safety is so high. So now we will do the analysis of this stand using the pin connectors. So again go to the new study, create new simulation study. So select static again from here. Now simply exclude these pins. Now simply exclude these pins from the analysis like this. So now you can see that you can add the pin connectors to these holes. So just simply go to the connection option, select pin from here. So the so in the pin connectors, you can see this cylindrical faces or I tab, just select this and select the two faces you want to add the pin in like this. So there are two options with retaining ring, no translation and with the key with no rotation. So when I will add the retaining ring, no translation, our body will not move like in the x axis and z axis direction, it will just rotate. Our pin will just rotate in the components. So if I will select with the key, no rotation, our body will be fixed or our pin will be fixed and it will not rotate in the components. So I am going to check the with retaining ring no translation option and from here you can give the strength data. So our desired material is alloy steel, it has automatically detected and our young modulus and poison ratios have been applied. Now if you have calculated the tensile stress area, just give the tensile stress area here and this safety factor is showing the desired factor of safety you want for your pin that it is failing or not. So select ok from here. So now you can see that the pin connector is applied. Now simply again go to the pin option, repeat the same procedure for all other holes.
so now once your pin connectors have been applied so here we have applied the eight pin connectors so the ninth pin connector we are applying to this faces so just simply go to the pin again and select this face and just simply go to select other and select this face so that so to this we are going to give the translation so we are going to uncheck the no translation here because we want the translation in the y direction when we apply the force on this plate so therefore we have give the value of translation here so again select okay from here so now our geometry is ready for the analysis just simply go to the fixed geometry again give it the fixed face and go to external load select force from here select this face and give it the value of 1000 newton select okay again go to the mesh surface and select mesh parameters from here go to curvature base mesh and refine it select okay from here so once your mesh has been generated just simply go to the run this study so after the simulation has been completed we will analyze the factor of safety of the pins that our pins are failing or not and i will tell you that why we have used these two analyses for the pin connectors so now our solver has been completed so you can see that we have approximately get the same one mic stresses and same type of answer is so now i will see how we can analyze our pin connectors failure or factor of safety go to the results and select define pin or bolt check plot from here and select okay so now you can see that it is showing that our one pin connector is okay with the desired factor of safety and our other factor of safety are less than 2 like this so pin connector 6 has the value of 1.96 so desired factor of safety we have given was 2 so therefore it is telling to take the attention with these pins so we have to if we want to if we want to achieve the factor of safety of 2 we have to design it again or we have to give the material different materials so this was the simple pin connectors you want to analyze so if we were going to check the factor of safety of the whole body just simply go to the define factor of safety plot from here and select all bodies simply select maximum one mic stress from here and from here simply select the yield strength and select okay so you can see that in the chart options when we will select the floating from here and we will and we will select the floating from here we will see the factor of safety that the factor of safety of this model or using the pin connector is also 51.041 so you can find the approximately same results with the pin connectors or by using the solid pins as the assembly so the main purpose is you have to know that how you can use the pin or solid pins in your simulation so thank you for watching keep supporting and keep sharing our channel for the more interesting videos